Hey guys, what's up? My name's Paul. I'm here to tell you how to install PCSX2, the PlayStation 2 emulator, today. Uh, this will be a series of tutorial videos explaining how to use PCSX2. Oh, that's a bit of a jumble. And what it can do, uh, and how to make it most optimized for your current setup. So what you're going to need to do is there's going to be links in the description for everything. Uh, this is a virtual environment. Right now, this virtual environment has 5 gigs of RAM uh, and half of this i7. Uh, so just keep that in mind. And we are on uh, x64 edition of Windows XP, although you are probably going to be on either Windows XP, Service Pack 3, Windows Vista, Service Pack 2, I think. Um, Windows 7 Service Pack 1 or Windows 8.1, most likely. Uh, it doesn't matter. I would recommend having at least 4 gigs of RAM if you're going to want to emulate at a decent rate. I'm not sure how great this is going to go in the virtual environment, but that's not really what we're worried about. Today, at least. Okay. So, you're going to want to open this. I'll have links to everything in the description. Uh, it'll ask you, just leave all this checked, press next, press install. And now you wait. It won't take that long. Uh, you're going to want to, this might pop up if you don't have uh, C++ 2013 registered mutable. Uh, just check that and press install. If You can read it if you want, but I've already read it, obviously. I have never read that. Shh. Um, and now it's gonna install DirectX, which may take a while. <laughs> so uh, I'll be back when it's finished installing DirectX. Okay, so we are done installing DirectX, and it has completed. So we're just gonna close, hit close now. Uh, now we're gonna open it up. Okay, uh, if you want it to be in a different language, you can. We're just going to go with System Default, which is English. Um, okay. Now, this part is the interesting part. So, what you're going to want to do for here is usually the top one is fine, except for very specific games. Um, but this is your graphics plugin which will run your, I don't know, sort of graph, everything graphical for your emulation. Um, so if your card is actually here, mine's not here because I'm running on VMware, but I have a GTX 980 SC. Um, so you're going to want to select that or leave it on default, it doesn't matter. This, you can set to anything really, just make sure it's at 60 hertz or whatever your monitor is at. We're gonna set it to, that's fine. Actually, we'll go a little lower, we'll go right here. Uh, turn interlacing off, put it to stretch. Uh, you can leave it native if you want, that just upscales it. Um, that's about fear. If you do have an actual card though, and it doesn't think you're running on VMware, you will have the option for uh, DirectX, well, Direct3D11. Uh, if you have an appropriate card for that, and you're going to want to select the hardware version for either of them, or if you don't have any of these, you're going to want to select this one. And at that point, if you're having to select this one, you're kind of in trouble. Because, uh, yeah. So everything else you can leave off. Um, the software mode right here is only for very specific games. Never use it unless you need to. Uh, Lily pad is just your joy pad. I don't have one plugged in right now. So um, we're just going to do this. You can use your keyboard if you want, if you're crazy. Actually. Um, you just click it and press what you want. It's 
So just set this however you want. Where am I gonna leave? We're gonna leave these uh, L and R buttons alone for now. On the right stick, it's okay. Uh, so this this video once again is just gonna be setup video. Uh, we'll get into games in another video. Uh, audio you don't really have to touch at all. You just leave that as it is. This you're gonna want to change to um, CD null driver right here, or you could go with CD uh, gigahertz, and you're just gonna select your disk drive if you go with this one. This one's probably better, but this one, uh, if you if you're not sure what to select here, if you have multiple ones, uh, going with this one is usually a good idea. But this one usually works better. Although you're probably never going to use it. Um, these you don't have to touch at all. And then you're going to want to press next. Okay, so right here, you're going to you're gonna see this thing saying select a BIOS ROM. You're like, what's this? And you're noticing there's nothing here. Um, like I said, so here, PCSX2 requires a legal copy of the PS2 BIOS in order to run games. You cannot uh, use a copy obtained from a friend or the internet. You must dump the BIOS from your own PlayStation 2 console. So I have that right here, actually. Uh, this will not be covered in this tutorial, just because it is very complicated. Uh, there's probably a tutorial somewhere on that for YouTube. But once you have obtained your BIOS, this is a PAL BIOS, you're going to want to go to My Documents. Uh, you can go to PCSX2. And go to BIOS and just drag these bin files and whatever other files there are into there. And uh, yeah, it'll show up. I have two year consoles that I had, uh, different versions. Uh, but you're probably going to want to select USA. The only reason why you need all of them uh, is if you want, for example, to run Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix. You're going to probably want to get to Japan BIOS, but um, I don't know if it's necessary or not to have. But once you select that, just press finish, and then it'll open. Um, so at this point, it will run, but what you're going to want to do now is going to go to Config Emulation Settings. Um, now depending, this all depends on your system. But what we're going to do is check this preset and go to aggressive and press OK. That usually works for everyone. Um, you got memory cards here. OK. Um, so if you want to use uh, your original PS2 disks and put them in your disk drive, you're going to want to select plugin. If you want to load an ISO from your computer from a ripped PS2 CD that you own, uh, you can go to there. But we're just going to press no disk for now and try to boot up in the BIOS and see what happens. So we're going to do a full boot. Uh, if you do a fast boot, it skips the little PlayStation 2 intro thing. But we're going to do a full boot for now. So, um, we are now in the BIOS. You can go to System Configuration. It's going to sound a little weird, because this is on a virtual machine again. Uh, once, once again. So, clock's fine. Full screen. You, can, you don't really need to change any of this, unless you want to change the language, honestly. Uh, oops. So, we're going to get out of here. Now uh, you got your browser. Um, another thing that you're going to want to do is come in here, and you're going to want to format your memory cards, because they're going to be blank and not formatted when you turn this on. And that's pretty much your setup. Um, now, like I said, uh, what I just did there is I press escape, and what that does is it basically hibernates the emulator. And when you press escape, you can go to resume here. 
I'll take you, you if that also happens if you exit out. You, can all, you just go right back to resume, and it puts you right back where you were. Um, but yeah, I'll quickly just put, uh, oh yeah, when you want, when you try to change discs or ISOs or whatever, it's going to ask you that question. Um, usually you're going to want to reset unless you're doing some funny business. So I have a copy of Pac-Man World 2 right here, which is an okay, not really game. And I'm going to open my disk drive. Put it in here. Hopefully the VMware reads it. It looks like it did. And we're going to press reset. And this should take us right into the game, I think. Okay, it opened. <laughs> it opened the disc. Thanks. Thanks, Windows XP. So there we go. It loaded it. Uh, that's how simple it is, really, guys. Uh, you know, I'll say detected PS2 disc, and it'll tell you about it. And then it loads right here. So it's really that simple. The only hard part, really, is to get this BIOS in these files. Which you will have to flash, or dump, I should say, your own PS2. So yeah, this is an actual game. Uh, it's just, I don't know. It, I don't know how to explain this. It's literally just me putting my disc from my PS2 in my computer and pressing play. That's how easy it is, guys. So, well, once again, links in description. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next tutorial where we're going to be covering more advanced parts of PCSX2 and what they do. I'm Polly. Uh, make sure to like the video, comment on the video, and subscribe if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next video.